Assalamualaikum and greetings, Ali Shalma here and welcome to more how-to videos of Fimi Palm, the 3 axis handheld gimbal camera system. In this video first I will show you how to use your Fimi Palm 3 axis handheld gimbal camera system. I will also take you through the menu system of the camera and introduce you to different options and parameters of this camera, how to change the camera modes and how to uh, change different parameters and settings. So let's get to it. First off, you can always hold the gimbal camera system in your hands. Do remember that this is a touch screen here, so touching it means you can actually access different options. So the best way to hold the gimbal camera system is right under the buttons, so you can actually access the buttons and joystick as well. So feel free to hold it and turn it on by pressing and holding the shutter button, or you can put the camera down and press and hold the shutter button camera system will uh, initialize the gimbal system will initialize and it will turn on wait for SD card preparation once it's done you will see how much SD card space left here you have some more uh, settings that you can access I will show you very very soon you will see the battery remaining and here what uh, shooting mode you are in at the moment it's at, on 4k 30 frames per second as soon as the gimbal is turned on, it's stabilizing itself. Now, whatever you do, this is like a chicken head, okay? The camera is always stabilized, and by default, it's in follow mode. That means the camera will pan together with the movement, panning of the whole gimbal, and also will move up and down. Uh, with the movement of the gimbal. So this is in follow mode. You can change this very easily. I will show it to you very soon. You can also rotate, pan the camera or pitch the camera up and down using the joystick. Okay. And up and down. So it's very easy to actually operate. Now, if you have used the joystick, obviously the gimbal is not exactly centered. You can always try to bring it back and front, but still, if you want to center it quickly, just double click the shutter button. So double click and gimbal will center the camera exactly to the front side. Now, if you want to shoot vlog or speak to the camera, you don't have to use the joystick to turn the camera to yourself unless you want hey that's what's up that's me right there you want to do that to create some effect during your video shoot but if you want to do it very nice and quick you can triple click this shutter button and camera will automatically switch backward you can always center the camera by double clicking while it's looking towards you in vlogging mode at the moment obviously it's down so if I'm holding the camera this way you can see me now in the screen triple click and camera goes to the forward side okay and once again triple click and it turns towards me and I can vlog by looking at the gimbal and looking at the camera lens obviously you can always do it using the joystick as well for panning but triple click does the job real nice all right so triple click for moving the camera 180 degree towards you or to the front side double click to center the camera system no matter it's on the front side or on the or looking at you now how to activate zoom all right I will just keep I will bring an object for zooming so my son made this little lion there and I'm gonna zoom in onto this lion okay to zoom in you will have to activate the joystick mode too all right that is another mode press and hold the joystick and you will see uh, four arrows appear in the middle of the screen with a dot in the center let me zoom in to the gimbal screen as well so you can see 
all right pressing and hold again now four arrows without any dot so that is mode one and mode two press and hold the joystick four arrows with a dot in the center and right here on top you also see that now pressing the joystick up will zoom in as you can see now that is a 3x zoom right there for that little lion and moving it moving the joystick down will zoom out this is how you can zoom in and zoom out if you feel the things are a bit darker you can adjust the exposure values by moving the joystick right or left in this mode so I can increase the EV or exposure value to plus 0.3 plus 1 and you can see my screen is getting brighter on plus 3 because the exposure value is being increased and moving the joystick at the left you can decrease the exposure values so if it is too bright outside you can decrease the exposure values or increase the exposure values uh, accordingly uh, according to the requirements according to your requirements and according to the shot requirements or according to the lighting conditions outdoors or indoors now in this mode you cannot move the camera around okay so press and hold the joystick again and you will have four arrows without a dot and now you can move the camera around using the joystick All right that was that now how to change the ISO settings or white balance setting you will see some you will see three lines with sliders on it that's an icon right here click on it and you have ISO now you can move this slider from down and you can see how the screen changes okay you can notice it this is ISO 100 and this is ISO 1600 3200 so maximum 3200 ISO right there if you click on auto on top right there it will select the ISO settings automatically now when you are at this screen swiping left will switch to white balance as well okay now you can select white balance accordingly the same way by moving the slider down here okay so that is like 10,000 K and moving left now it says cloudy day right here at 7,000 K sunny day fluorescent incandescent okay so basically you can change it accordingly this is on sunny day this is uh, this is fluorescent and cloudy day we have cloudy day now all right and if you want to switch it to auto just click on auto right there so I have said the ISO auto and white balance auto clicking that little icon again will exit that mode Now how do you switch shooting modes that is video, still shots, panorama, slow motion and uh, time lapse. Very very easy just swipe the screen right you have photo, right again panorama, right again time lapse, right again slow motion, right again video. You can also do left and switch the modes. Next thing, how do you set the uh, resolution of your video and resolution of your picture? Just click the little camera which says 4K 30 frames per second in front of it. Now on the left you can select the output which is 4K 30 frames per second, 2.7K 60 and 30 frames per second, 1080p 60 and 30 frames per second and 30L. Okay, so I'll select uh, 4K 30 frames per second because this is really nice and smooth and high resolution video then next if you move the output slider up you have picture quality where you can select fine and super fine move the left slider up color you can select natural or F log I'll keep it on the natural and then microphone high low or mute you can even mute the microphone so I'll just keep it on high it shoots very nice and quality sound now when you are in photo or stills shot mode you can access the menu and you can turn the HDR on and off you can set long exposure shot 5 15 these are the values for it 5 10 and 15 
these are the long exposure shots I'll shoot one shot for you in the dark and show you how it goes then you have ratio 4 3 16 9 and 1 by 1 you also have a timing okay from 105 55 35 and off and you also can turn on or off night shot for better night shots so I'll wait for night and go and get a night shot at night and see how the camera shoots night shot Then in panorama, obviously by clicking here, you can change the panorama uh, shot options. Okay, one by four, four by one, or three by three. Similarly, by clicking in time-lapse mode, you can change the options right there very, very quickly. For slow motion, you have 8x slow motion and 4x slow motion. Picture quality, you can choose super fine. Color, you can choose natural or f-log. Now when you are in photo mode, okay, let me bring my prop right here again. Now when you are in photo mode, you can click on this little icon right here and change the uh, effect. You can apply a few effects like, like sepia, Neuer, and natural. You have three different effects, okay, and you can take a picture in that effect. Now, if you have shot some pictures and videos, you can easily view or play them by swiping up on the screen. And you can see there's a video, there's a picture, another picture, another picture. I took those pictures in different effects mode, okay. Here's another picture. And here's a video, so you can play the video as well. So you can play and view the video right there on this little screen. You can favorite this. You can also favorite your video or picture right there. And if you want to come back to shooting, swipe down and you are back to shooting mode. swipe down and you can see follow this is where you change the gimbal mode follow mode means every, all the axes are stabilized but camera will follow your hand movements or gimbal movements if you select FPV the gimbal roll will actually move together with your movement of hand making it look like you're on a drone or first person view so you can see the roll also moves a little bit and this creates a very nice first person view effect the gimbal is still stabilizing the camera all right next is pitch lock okay so whatever you do now your pitch is locked as you can see the camera stays at the same pitch no matter what I do so that was your pitch lock and you can have a complete gimbal lock this means you can rotate the base but the camera stays in the same direction it actually can create a very beautiful effect of you coming in and out of the view all right so next I will be back to follow mode where the camera gimbal where the camera will follow the gimbal movement If you swipe right, you can see Wi-Fi, lock, display, and brightness. Here you can turn the Wi-Fi on and off. You can change the display mode, completely fill the screen, or you know keep it in 16 by 9 and change the brightness of your display. Next in the settings is the multi-frames, where you can actually select how the camera frames the overall shots uh, in wide angle and narrow angle views I believe so next we have camera settings in the camera settings if you click you have J photo format which you can ch uh, change from JPG to J plus D then we have metering mode we have a video output you can have NTSC or Paul we have video codec H264 or HEVC according to your choice 
Then we have LDC, the lens distortion correction. Should you want to correct the distortion or not? That depends on your choice. After that, in this, you have gimbal settings. In gimbal settings, you can set the joystick speed, follow speed. So you can set that following speed. You can calibrate the gimbal. You can adjust the horizon on the gimbal. Next in this, we have system settings. In the system settings, you have boot video. That means right uh, after booting, camera starts shooting video or not. You can select that. You can power off. You can select the power off time, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and off. You can also select lock screen time, screen lock time that is 1 minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or keep it off. You can also select your beep on and off okay that is when you shoot when you press the shutter button it camera beeps normally it records that beep as well in the video you can try you can keep it on or off as per your choice then in the system setting you have a storage where you can uh, click on it and say uh, choose here how many shots left or how much space left on your card or you can format the TF card Next, we have device info, language, and reset device. No more settings in this. So to say, this is how you use the menu system. Okay, so that was all for how to use the Femi Palm. I believe I have covered all the options here. I also have a video posted that shows how to upgrade the firmware. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button, it's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there, come on, don't be shy, just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.